Melan and welcome to the Dabba Dab today. Um, this is our Winter's Warmer episode. I'm Chef Tari. And I'm Chef Zen. And this is episode three and we'll be making some winter desserts. Okay, so today we're gonna make a guinea small. So this is our dough and we're gonna weigh that out into about 60 gram balls and then, yeah, show you how to get everything else together. So let's get started. You will need peanut butter, cream, caster sugar, flour, chocolate, lime zest, milk, marshmallows, the dough, well, actually, let me let you know what's in the dough. So, the dough has about 840 grams of flour, if I'm not mistaken, 500 mils of water, um, a quarter cup of sugar, and then um, 10 grams of yeast. So, what I actually did was mix, like, dissolve the sugar in the water, and then I added the yeast. Um, then let it just form a foam, like a nice head. So it is our, what's the word that you use again? Yeah, it's our proof of land. So, yeah, i just give that about like 20 minutes in a warm like area, anywhere in your home, kitchen, outside, and then mix that in. And then I mixed it on like a medium speed in the mixer for, 10 minutes. If you're kneading by hand, good luck to you. That ain't for me. I mean, it's a pretty quick dough to mix if you want to do it by hand. It's not as difficult as other doughs, at least. Sure. You like slap everything together and then you keep it pushing. Like, it's very, very straightforward. Just also make sure that your dough is nice and soft um, when you're making it. You don't want it too hard or else you'll be eating flour the whole day. And no one wants that. I actually want to show them how nice and stretchy this dough is. I don't know if someone can get a shot of that. It's really like well hydrated. Can you um, see it on your hands when you work with the dough? It's going to be a bit sticky. But it's still working by it. Yes, not too sticky. It's going to stick on your hands, but not going to stay on your hands. Yes. How this recipe came about was Terry was grilled. It was a good night. <laughs> <laughs> and on Pinterest, and she saw she was craving something sweet because she's always craving something sweet, like she's the sugar queen. Um, so she was like, I had this idea, like we should do this. Um, donuts more. I was like, no, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, I so we decided that we were gonna just think I have been craving a lot thing. So we're like, why not then just make this super sweet thing but then we add like a bunch of our own um, things like the peanut butter, caramel, and a lime zest um, glaze. So yeah, it was literally the good stuff <laughs> that made her think of it. And some really awesome flavors that we thought, okay, maybe those will work. We shall find out today. So we're gonna make our lime glaze, which is really, really quick. It's a cup and a half of icing sugar. Um, I put three tablespoons of milk in here, but you can do the like, I would have do it like gradually because you don't want it to be like runny. And then a teaspoon of lime zest, which I just micro blend. So. Yeah. So I'll just use the whole three tablespoons for 
a cup and a half of icing sugar and then some zest just to give it that fresh flavor um because there's a lot of like sweetness in this dessert obviously with the marshmallows and um the richness of the chocolate so yeah, just for like the element of fresh and that's your glaze. It's nice and quick, nice and easy. It doesn't take too much. Allow your dough to brew for approximately 40 minutes. And when they're like almost tripled in size, take them out and fry them in your oil. The oil will be ready at about 175 degrees Celsius. And you will need to fry every guinea until it's golden brown and delicious. Right, so here I'm going to be making um, our caramel. So it's a peanut butter caramel. Just sort of adding in some of that nut flavor to the caramel so that it's not so sweet. Here in my part, I've just got some custard sugar. It's just easier to melt. That's why I've just opted for some custard sugar instead of normal grain sugar. And we're also going to be putting in some peanut butter and some cream just to Give it that. The smooth uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. In a saucepan, melt hundred grams of your caster sugar until it is golden brown. Once you've reached this beautiful color, add your peanut butter and whisk to fully combine. Once this has been done, add your cream in a slow stream until a pouring consistency has been formed. Place this in a bowl and allow it to cool. Right, glaze our in a car ama kuinyange glaze. Whether you want to pour it over or can you add deep, whatever seems easier for you, feels fun, feels more logical, do your sweetie. Assemble our um, guinea s'mores now and just put our toasted marshmallows together, the chocolate, the peanut butter caramel, and then taste how everything goes together. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Dapper Daphne. We hope you enjoyed this and that you will try out this incredibly sweet and delicious treat. Please also don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you can be the first to know when a new episode is out. Thank you. <laughs> feel free to leave a comment and let us know what made you fall in love with cooking we would love to hear from you make sure you follow our social media pages too and feel free to make any orders from our delicious pages bye